before we start today's vlog, I really want you to see this this clip of Lincoln, I believe, trying to put his thumb in his mouth. Lincoln, what are you doing? Uh, Link? Are you discovering your hands? What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> no. Are you trying to roll or are you trying to eat your hands? Oh, rats. What are you. Oh, no. What are you doing? Okay, we can, we can start the vlog now. Hey, it's all right. I took him it's... away from the bottle because he was getting. He was still eating, but I needed to change him at some point. Yeah, hey, it's okay. Mom, Mommy's gonna finish feeding you. Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. I find that counting helps. Counting? Oh, okay. Here we go, buddy. So, we're just kind of trying to really. What's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Kind of a rough day today. We're kind of just trying to figure out what's what's wrong. I, I think I ever well we got his well we got his shots on Monday, and I think ever since that he's just been kind of fussy. I don't know if he's sore if his legs are sore. I don't know if he's having side effects from the shots, but we're kind of struggling a little bit. He's very fussy. We're not we've been giving him Tylenol. What, what has needed, been? but I, I haven't done it yet now. Today is one of those. Today is one of those days that that uh, I didn't get around to creating something, so I'm gonna document instead. So there's that balance between document and create. Some days I like to create stuff. I like to do some cinematic stuff like this. Would you call it doc? You create like maybe, but today, today I just want to document because we today just didn't go as planned, and that's okay. That's I feel okay. like today was mostly, and well, Buddy? importantly, most importantly, was all about him today, and it was, it was, it was stressful just because we just didn't exactly know what he wanted. I don't think he knew what he wanted either. Oh, oh. James, is that a bird? He's doing this thing today where he's been doing this weird thing today where he'll he will wake up from a nap and only want to eat like one ounce and then fall back asleep so he, and then he'll get like really fussy and, and tired so i don't know how, how you dealt with it when i was at work um, I, well he's he just kind of woke up from a nap right when kyle was going to work mm -hmm. and he was really hungry and i was i was able to work the feed with him it was tough but we we ate and after the feed he was good for a couple hours and then in the afternoon he got fussy again um I'm an extrovert, so I like to be around people, and so I usually try to have some sort of socialization with people other than Kyle, even though I love him very much during the day, because, just because. So my mom came over, and she took some turns when he was just being really fussy. Mm -hmm. Well, I, he, I do think it has something to do, it has, I mean, it doesn't ha I think it has something to do with the shots, still. I, I still think he's a little sore, or he's getting some, I don't know, side effects. I'm not exactly sure, but it, the, the frustrating part is... Like, it'll be like, he'll go to sleep and then he'll wake up in an hour. And so, initially, I'll go, well, it can't be that he wanted to eat because he just ate. And so, when he was first born, it was f fairly easier to predict his needs because it, when he was first, when we first brought him home, it was it was like, okay, if he's crying, he's either hungry, he has needs a diaper change, or he is trying to fall, you know, he's sleepy. And now as he gets older, it seems like his, I mean, obviously his needs are becoming more dynamic and, and hard to predict. He needs other stuff. Sometimes he just wants to be picked up and walked around. Indeed. Sometimes he wants just to be cuddled. And it's sometimes hard to like, I try to do the process of elimination. And I, earlier today, I it was like an hour between feeds or I woke up this morning and you got him up at five because he was hungry. And then he was fussing again at, when I woke up at, like a little after six. And so since I knew that you got him up at five, I was like, oh, well, he can't be hungry. It must be something else. And so I went through all the other stuff besides eating because I thought, oh, there's no way he's hungry, but that he was hungry. And so I got frustrated with myself because I'm like, I should have just tried that first. And um, it, it, it just, I feel like today has been kind of like off all day. We're like, Cause it'd be like, he'll eat like every hour and a half. And it's just, which is okay, but he never really gets full and takes a really good nap, and so that's hard. It's it's tricky because I feel bad that we're not meeting his needs, and um, it's 
I don't know. It's just today was kind of a tricky day. It just really was. And um, but I keep telling myself and that we're you know we're trying our best. That's right. And we have good intentions, and we're, and we're trying to make sure that we're meeting his needs, even if we're failing at it. As far as like figuring out what he needs sooner, I kind of feel bad when he's fussing real hard, and I don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, sometimes I remember that they don't always know what they want. Yeah, I mean, I guess that is a good point. Like he doesn't always exactly know what he needs either. But yeah, I think yeah. I mean, it was just a rough day today, but um, you know, at the end of the day, though, like it's still a good day. And um, we're going to have days, I mean, I recognize that raising him and him growing up his whole life, we're going to have different stages of life that are going to have different challenges, obviously. And right now, it's determining his needs because he can't tell us his needs. Right. And as he gets older, his needs are going to get more dynamic mm -hmm. and harder to determine. Indeed. Um, you know, he did this cry the other day that wasn't a hungry cry. It was, a, I think it was a... Pain. I'm kind of in pain cry. And so we started doing the little baby Tylenol here um, when necessary, and it seems to help. Um, so it was just a new thing. We, we hadn't had that cry before. Mm -hmm. We they, no, Almost all the time before the, the shots, if he was crying, oh, he must be hungry. And so it was a new thing. It's a new shift. And, um, Hi. and yeah, I mean, so here, what are you doing? Starting to get fussy again. Yep. Oh, hi, Lincoln. Oh, James. Hi, buddy. Thinking, James, what are you doing? Oh, oh, look at those eyes. Thank you for sharing your eyes. Are you feeling a little bit better? Oh. Maybe. Are you hot? Are you maybe working on a poop? Maybe. Oh. Maybe both. Oh, no. He says, I'm not. Oh, no. Here, would you like me to try something different? You better maybe feed you again? So even though today didn't go 100% as planned or as smoothly as we're used to and I didn't get to do everything that I wanted to do, I think it's all about the mindset of obviously being okay with that and trying to make sure and remember who's number one and who's priority, which is Lincoln. Mm -hmm. And so one thing I was talking about, Kristen, too, I was, we're sharing with each other is the time when it gets frustrating, and this is how I know when I need to like reprioritize my day, is when... When I'll sit down to do something, like he'll be asleep, and I'll say, I'm gonna do this thing now because he's asleep. And then he wakes up and I go, oh. Mm -hmm. That is the mindset that I need to switch because he, that's not prioritizing Lincoln, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I'm, if, I, if I'm like, all right, I'm gonna finally sit, I'm gonna finally sit down and do this thing. And then he wakes up and I go, Whew. then I'm, I feel like I'm in the wrong. And I, and I know that it's okay to like want to, to sit down and take a break or do something you know, to relax, right. but at the same time, I don't want to be in that mindset when I, when he needs something, I can't be in the mindset of, oh, really, you know, I can't, that's not fair to him. So, so basically what I need to do is set my expectations right and you be purposeful with my day and with my time in a way that allows me to get my things done that I need, yeah. but not in any necessary time or order because yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to be in the wrong with him and I don't want to I don't want to feel like I'm not making him top priority. And so um that's something that I'm a little bit honestly a little bit nervous about when when you go back to work. Yeah. Because now if I need to do something real quick in the morning, I can just say, "Hey, can you get him this this time so that I can do that thing?" Mm -hmm. And when you go back to work, I'm going to be the only one here. Now obviously my mom is just steps away, your mom and your mom is just a call away. But I need to figure out how to do this on my own. You know, I need to figure out how to do this regularly on my own. And I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I know it's going to work out. So. I will. And, yep, just sometimes picking a couple things to do. And like you said, not really having an order, but mm -hmm. when you get around to it that day, these are the things that I have to do. And if anything else gets done, it's a bonus. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just I shower today. Yeah, that was a, that was a win. So uh, I'm going to... I want you to see. I want you to see this real quick before before we leave you for today. It's Lincoln Hi, James, Dad. everybody. Lincoln, you look like you might just be feeling a little bit better. Yeah. Oh. How special. Oh, Lincoln. How special. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Find your gift. Share with the world. And remember, you are worth it. See you tomorrow.